But uh, luckily, I uh, I'm actually, I actually teach at the same university. I've been working with Otto for 16 years, and um, so I will introduce the Swiss program instead of him. Um, and about my films, this program's an hour long, so I don't want to talk very much beforehand. Um, um, I just wanted to say that um, I studied, actually studied art. I never studied film or animation. And after leaving art school, I made experimental films and only came to animation quite late, at about the age of 35. Um, um, so I'm a self-taught animator, and for that reason I use um, rather unusual techniques, which I'll tell you about quickly. So the films you're going to see come from a period of about 25 years, and they probably represent about a third of the films I've made in this time. Um, but these are my, my most often shown films, I would say, and also my favourites. So naturally, with all the things that happen in 25 years, you can say an awful lot, or if you choose not to, nothing at all. And I'm not going to say, I'm going to say nothing at all about them. But I thought if um, everyone's happy with that, that I'll come back at the end of the programme and before I introduce the Swiss films, I'll answer any questions that anyone has about them. Um, so I'm, I'm delighted to be here, delighted to show you these films, and I'll be delighted to hear what you think of them afterwards. Um, we start the program with the first animation I made. It wasn't the first film I made, but it was the first animation. And that's a technique which is made by scratching directly on film. So it's made very, very small. And of course, all these little movements are exaggerated when it's um, blown up bigger. Um, and um, I've shown three films, three different films made in that technique. I'll show two at the beginning and one I'm going to show at the end for variety. And in between that is a very, very simple technique that I've used a lot, which is stop frame animation of objects and people. 
It's a very easy technique which anyone can do, and I found it surprisingly um, useful as a language for telling all sorts of different things about the world. So I've used butterflies, for instance. I've used um, animated slices of the stone marble that you can see through. And um, I've animated motorcycles, and I've animated the human body, and I think each of them has a very different feeling. I've asked the translator just to translate a few of the first films because you can pretty much understand them without translation but he will translate all of the last film because uh, you really need to know what the story is about through um, this poem which is a kind of romantic, a very famous romantic British poem written in the early 19th century. So once again, thank you for inviting me and thank you for coming to my screening. Thank you very much, Zalim Madhavas Mogik Pizzais, for your amazing commentary. Thank you very much, Mr. Strong, for your amazing commentary.